I'm lucky. Today, I'm building my life between France and West Africa. The first time I went to Africa, I was surprised to realize how much cities are cultivated. In front of the house I used to stay, this woman gardened every single day onions and sweet potatoes. Along the road, mango trees gave us wonderful smells during the wet season. And under these trees, people met each other to debate the news of the day. This atmosphere gave to the public area a real sense of community living. When I went back in France, something jumped out at me. We have lost the sense of urban spaces. We don't really live in the cities anymore. Streets are only passageways, and the use of parks are formally limited. This evolution creates new precariousness we have to be very careful of. A broken link with nature and a persistent lack of solidarity. For my research, I wanted to explore in Europe, other possibilities of urban life, some spaces which combine the city and the soil, individual emancipation and social sharing. I have realized that in few cities, people advocate for vacancies to manage agricultural projects. As in Africa, the worker is more likely to discover a vegetal landscape. When you love the plants like I do and you see this garden, you just want to know what's going on inside. It's a good news because understanding what garden brings to the world has become the purpose of my thesis. In Paris, I have met ecology activists who practice gardening as a tool to promote the importance of environment. In Saint Etienne, my city, Algerians cultivate a little chili to get food according to their cultural preferences. In Porto, poor people are trying every day to improve their condition by selling their vegetables. And in Berlin, finally, Catholic priests grow plants as a way of reaching their spiritual paths. Each garden has its own story, but they all have something in common. They share hope of a rising world beyond nature and culture. With all these people through Europe, I have learned one essential thing, that the transition of cities has to be think with nature. And into this transition, gardens have an important part to play. I already had the political conviction before my thesis. And I'm proud to say that today, I'm getting the scientific confirmation. In Europe, as in Africa, gardening is able to make a real change. Thank you.